It's a return to a familiar venue for event five of this year's Rose Lady series, and Bearwood Lakes is looking absolutely pure. Four under par was the winning total last year. What will it take to conquer the pristine fairways and slick greens and earn that trophy today? Four Rose Lady series winners have already been crowned this season. This is the final chance for the players to add their names to the 2022 Roll of Honour at a venue that's hosted the series in all three years. These events have been particularly special for new pro Shana Dutro. Justin Rose has been my favourite golfer since I started playing golf at the age of eight. So meeting him at Sunningdale was just like Whoa! <laughs> I was like, and then obviously I got a photo with him and he commented on my post and I was just like, this is the dream. <laughs> Cara Gaynor is playing well with two top four finishes this year, including earlier in the week at Walton Heath. I feel like I'm sort of coming in some really good form. I've hit it quite nicely the last few weeks, just haven't really been able to score very well. Um, but I had a lot of birdie chances at Walton Heath um, and I had six birdies, so it's hitting it really close, um, giving myself a lot of opportunities. So hopefully I can do that again today here at Bearwood. A win would be a big deal for local girl and ladies European Tour regular Gainer. Yeah, I'd absolutely love it. I mean, it'll be a really great week, um, having finished second last week and I head to Madrid next week, so it'd be great confidence boost um, for a tournament, you know, four round tournament next week. Having finished runner-up at Bearwood Lakes last year, she knows exactly what's required to shoot a good score at this excellent layout. To be honest, I think it's the greens. You know, they are really slopey, and I mean, I, I don't know exactly what they're like today, but usually they're super quick. So I think it's managing no three parts, just trying to hit it as close as possible and really accounting for the break of the parts. The 26-year-old Gaynor got off to a really slow start with bogeys at three, five and six, but she found some confidence with this approach on the eighth, although she wasn't able to convert the birdie putt. Bockenhurst Manor winner Hayley Davis was playing really solid golf with eight pars in a row to start her day, including this slippery save after finding a greenside bunker at the par three third. Georgina Blackman also has a win this year and she got the shot she dropped at the third back with a superb birdie on the difficult seventh hole. Lauren Horsford threaded the eye of the needle to chase her second shot up onto the green at the par five second. Two putt gave her a birdie and she picked up another shot at four to get to two under par. Horsford, Blackman and Davis are all playing together and they're pulling each other along nicely and setting the pace. Horsford with the two shot advantage at minus two. Join that group on the ninth right. tee. Par three, water lurking short and left. The pin over on the left-hand side as well. It will require a brave tee shot to get anything close here. But that is exactly what Horsford has done. Yeah. Taking dead aim and she's now left herself a, a really nice looking birdie putt. Davis, of course, in this group of the three pro winners that we've had on the series so far this year. Oh, and she falls foul of the lake. So she's going to have a lot of work on just to get out of there with a bogey. Sophie Lamb, she's been going along very nicely. Two over par. This to get in the clubhouse with a 73 on the 18th. It's an incredibly slow putt back up that hill to that back left pin position. Might not look aggressive, but she's actually done pretty well to get it that close and just give herself what looks like a tap in. So Davis, she's taken a drop. 
Really needs to try and knock this one in close, and it's still not an easy shot. She's done nicely there, though, just erring on the safer side of the hole, but giving herself a good look to get out of there with what would ultimately be a decent bogey. Blackman, super safe with her tee shot. Absolutely beautiful greens here at Bearwood Lakes. That is rolling really nicely, but she wanted it to keep going for a few more feet. So that'll be about six or eight feet for Blackman to save her par on this ninth. Lamb just tidying up. And that sets the clubhouse target. Already a top five to her name in this year's series. And that's likely to be another very good finish for Sophie Lamb. Horsford already with the two shot lead. This would be a massive blow to her playing partners and the rest of the field if she can find the hole with this one. Never quite had it running with enough pace. But a good part on what is a very tricky hole with that pin position. Hayley Davis, huge for the scorecard and the momentum, really. If this rolls in, you're not feeling too down on yourself. Oh, that's a brilliant bogey. Of course, she'll be disappointed with the tee shot, but she's got out of that with the minimum damage. She does slip to plus one, though. Blackman to save her par, stay at level par, a couple of shots back of Horsford. That's a really positive stroke, really good roll. <laughs> Bit of relief there, you can see as well. Emily Toy, now a professional Curtis Cup player last year, has been solid in this Rose Ladies series. Three over par today. Great shot. Well and that well is an excellent pitch there. Leaves herself about four feet up the hill. Gainer back on that ninth tee. We've seen how tricky it was from the group before. She did finish tied 11th here last year, so she knows her way around and showing it perfectly there. That would have been exactly where she was aiming. Toy for her birdie. Yeah, well, she there. finds the bottom of the cup and gets back to two over par. She has performed a lot better on the back nine of events this year than early in the round. Gainer to get back to two over par. Oh, and it goes in. She didn't think it had the pace when she hit it. The little air swipe obviously sent something its way. And she is very happy. A brilliant two on that ninth today. Horsford still has the two shot lead, but it's now just Blackman who's her closest challenger. Sophie Lamb will add another good finish to a tied third at Sunningdale with her 74. There are plenty of players hungry for success at the Rose Ladies series. Who's going to lift the trophy at beautiful Bearwood Lakes? Bogies at 10 and 11 for Horsford mean there are now seven players within two shots of the lead. Gabs Cowley is birdie 10 and 11 to get herself into the mix. So many beautiful holes here at Bearwood Lakes, but arguably the signature is this par 3 14th stunner. A bit of few changes since we were here for the grand final last September, and I spoke to club owner Gary Holloway to find out exactly what they've done. In front of the green, a lot of reeds. You couldn't see if the ball hit the green and rolled off. 
So we decided to take all of the reeds out so you could actually have the pleasure of seeing your ball rolling from the green into the lake. At the same time, we wanted to raise with the tees. So the rear tee has been raised 1.8 meters. We've moved them out two meters as well to line the tee up with the pins. It's 157 yards from the new tee back over my shoulder into the pin today, which is cut on the very front right of the green. There are plenty of undulations on this putting surface, so you can use them to work the ball in closer to that pin. But if you get a little bit aggressive and go straight at the flagstick and come down just right, those same slopes could carry your ball off into the drink. So how directly will the girls play this one? Shannon O'Dwyer here on that beautiful 14th hole. She was three over after three holes today, so she's gone very well to remain on that score to this point. Oh, and that's an absolute beauty. Just going to have two and a half feet for the birdie. A brave shot, brilliantly executed from O'Dwyer. Horsford with her second. She really needs to find a bit of positive momentum after those two drop shots early on the back nine. Oh, that's a nice one. Maybe getting a little bit too much grab. She'll have a good birdie putt on her hands. Hayley Davis, of course, playing alongside Horsford and Blackman, the three pro winners we've had on the series this year. Excellent shot. Using her playing partner's ball as a, a nice little marker to move it inside there. O'Dwyer to finish off that superb approach shot and get to within just a couple of shots of the lead, and she does exactly that. Yeah, she's not to be written off at this stage as well. Still so many players that could win, and with the course in such magnificent condition, any putt really has a chance of going in. This one more of an outside chance for Blackman, though. We've seen it a couple of times today. She's been super cautious where the water's involved, Meant she's kept it dry, but like we saw at the ninth, a very, very long putt for birdie. Horsford. She finished 16th here last year, so she knows her way around the place as well. Oh, that's a bit pacey. Settle down. Wow, so after that slow start to the back nine, you just push a little bit, and that's what happens when you get a look for birdie. She's still got three feet back for the par. Gainer on the par, 3 twelfth. You just saw the ball coming up over a little rise. So tricky to judge the pace when you're chipping up and over a tier like that. Davis to get back to level par. Oh, in it falls. She joins the lead. And this is another brilliant performance from Davis, of course, the winner at Brockenhurst Manor. She was leading all the way bogey-free through 17 holes at Walton Heath before a heartbreaking triple bogey on 18 as well. Gainer to save her part. Yeah, confidently done. She's just playing in a group behind those three winners. And she is well in the hunt. Horsford. Two and a half feet for par to stay in the tied lead. Oh, that's a shame. It's so tight on the leaderboard. Davis and Blackman tied on level par, but with Horsford Gainer and O'Dwyer all in proximity, this is set up for a grand stand finish. Lauren Taylor finished tied fourth in the last event at Walton Heath, and she continued her form with back-to-back -back birdies at 16 and 17 before tapping in for a final par and a round of 74. Cara Gaynor bogeyed the 13th, but she stroked this par putt in confidently on 14 and picked up a shot on the 371 yard 15th to get back to one over par. 
Gabriella Cowley's challenge hit the buffers with a double bogey on 14. But the 26-year-old hold this long birdie putt on 18 to finish on plus two. The inform Hayley Davis had finished tied 11th in her last LET start before the Rose Ladies series, and she bounced back from a bogey on 16 with this stunning approach for a birdie on 17. West Lanks winner Lauren Horsford was still at one over par and she couldn't regain her early round momentum as this birdie effort on the tricky par 5 16th missed by a whisker. Co-leader Georgina Blackman was another player to drop a shot at 16, but she replied swiftly at the very next hole as she circled a birdie three following this fine wedge shot. Any one of four players could still win this with Blackman and Davis at even par and Horsford and Gaynor plus one. Gaynor is the only one of the quartet not to have won so far this year. And this 18th with the pin there, back left. It looks like that's a little fairway metal for Blackman out of the first cut of rough. Oh, that's a superb shot. Sit down, sit down. Well, that is going to be a very, very quick chip. It all slopes from back to front on this green. But she's done well to, to get a hybrid up there. Horsford also out of that left-hand rough, so really not the optimum angle to be attacking this pin. You're also playing off a bit of a downslope for your second shot here as well to a slightly elevated green. And again, you can see he just doesn't have the spin or control to keep it on that back level. So like Blackman, she will have a slippery chip. Davis, though, out of the fairway a better angle, she'll be able to generate more spin as well. Just looked like she slightly came out of that one. That will be a very, very slow putt up the hill. Really difficult to get it to the hole, and you certainly don't want to go three or four feet past where that is cut today. Gainer on this short par four, 17th. Great opportunity to get into a tie for the lead here. Yeah, she's played that pretty nicely as well. Davis with that long and ever so slow birdie putt. You've got to be thinking two putt from here. She has made a fantastic job of that. We have seen more than a couple of three putts from that kind of range today on 18. So given the situation, absolutely superb. Blackman, this is going to take all of her finesse to get it close. Just a little tentative. And she's going to need to start that one very slowly and quite far outside the hole. There is going to be a significant break on that. That is not dead. Putter here for Horsford. Interesting choice. Well, you saw it did take a little bit of an early bobble. And that might have just cost it that foot or two of pace that would have made it a simple tap in Gainer. That's a little bit longer than it looked from that other camera angle when we saw the approach. To get to level par and tied for the lead. Well, nipped away to the left at the very last minute. So you've got to think Davis is probably in on level par. That means Gaynor is going to need to birdie the last. And Blackman, you would think, has to find the bottom of the cup with this. Oh, and it's just raced away from her, and you can see how quick that was. She's almost got the same length now back up the hill for her bogey. And 
and she hasn't lost her turn. Oh, so unlucky. So a disappointing double bogey, it looks like, for Blackman to finish. But you've got to credit her for taking on that flagstick with the hybrid out of the left-hand rough. She had such a small area to land it in and so nearly got it right. Horsford to save her part and shoot 73. Yeah, tickles that one in nicely down the hill. So she finishes off a really positive series which started with a win and will likely yield a top three or four finish here. Davis for par. She holds it, and she is now alone in the lead. Only Gainer can catch her, and it will require a birdie on 18. Blackman taps in. That's a double bogey for a 74. Hugs for her playing partners. What a tussle it was between these three today, all in good form. And Justin Rose there to watch it and console Blackman after that difficult finish as well. But... If anything's going to put a smile on your face, it's a hug from Justin and Kate Rose as you walk off the 18th. Still a hugely positive run of events and day for Blackman. Davis there as well. So Gaynor, she has found the fairway with her tee shot. This has to go close. And it does. A brilliant, brilliant approach shot. But we've seen how difficult that putt is. Virtually the same as what Blackman had for her par. Sophie Stone, five over par. But this for birdie on 17. Yeah, she gets back to plus four. So that will likely give her another good finish to back up the top five she's had in the last two events. Gainer for birdie on 18 to force a playoff with Hayley Davis. Oh, it just slides by on the low side. And with that, Hayley Davis is confirmed as the champion. Gainer just has this par putt to tidy up. Well hold and another really good performance from Gainer. A second successive runner up. But it's Hayley Davis who holds her nerve with a par at the closing hole to win her second Rose Ladies Series title of what's been a fantastic run of five events. Justin Rose couldn't be prouder. This series has only been successful because of um, the spirit that the, the girls have and how much they're enjoying it and you know, you know, the fact that they're grateful for, for the opportunity to have a scorecard in their hand and just play you know, in a series that is competitive but also is there and designed to prepare them for what's ahead, giving everyone the opportunity to sharpen up their games and play a bit of competitive golf. Davis received the trophy and check from Bearwood Lakes owner, Gary Holloway. I did know the sort of situation, um, and I did sort of know it looked like it was going to be between the three of us, and then obviously Cara was behind. Um, she's one of my friends, I know that she's a good player, so there's always birdies, I knew that she would give it a go at the end. Um, but no, it was really good. It was We all played well, so it was a good day out there. It's been a brilliant five events in this year's Rose Ladies Series, and what a way to finish it here at Bearwood Lakes. A superb setting and a worthy winner in Hayley Davis, who made it two wins in the last three events. Best of luck to all of the ladies as they continue their seasons, and we'll see you again soon.